Good morning, guys. Today is November 1st, 2011. Where the heck is the time going? Uh, a couple things I want to talk about today. It's going to be real quick. Um, mostly about music and about a new job opportunity as well as a new hobby that I've picked up um, that some of you may consider nerdy um, or other people you may uh, actually do it yourself. Um, so let's start with the music. Um, my EP is coming out in 18 days or so, November 18th, 2011. I'm probably going to drop it Thursday night at midnight or whatever. So it comes right out the second of Friday. Um, but that's really not going to matter much because people are going to listen to it whenever they get the chance to. Um, I don't have a huge fan base group of friends um, or fans in general of my music to be like, yes, can't wait till midnight. Um, but I still do it anyway just because I like to. Um, so that's coming out in November 18th. Uh, I've gotten really good positive feedback on it from family and friends. I'm really happy about that. Um, things are going really well. I just finished recording one of the other songs this morning. Um, so we're right on track. The album cover photo is um, already shot, already uh, set up. So that's perfect. Um, and everything's going smooth like they should. So I'm really happy about that. And um, it should be all set to go on November 18th. Um, so, awesome. Another uh, music-related thing, that job opportunity, I did a video back in July of a, um, a gig, the Blacklight Party. Um, not really sure what it's called off the top of my head right now, but it had a, had a name. Um, but I, we paired up, Jared and I paired up to do lighting with another local DJ from Total Control Entertainment out of Gloucester, Massachusetts. And um, he provided the black lighting and Jared and I did the effects lighting that night. Um, he approached me last night through Facebook and asked me if I was interested in a job opportunity to uh, become his assistant, do the takedown and setup of lighting, speakers, etc. Um, help him with controlling the music while he's out on the mic doing events from weddings to other corporate events, um, birthday parties, etc. And actually helping get the crowd get riled up in terms of music and doing line dances like the cha-cha slide, etc. And uh, asked me and Jared if we were interested in becoming um, his assistants. And also in the summer of 2012, to kind of combine gigs together or bounce gigs back and forth off of each other, which means that Eclipse Entertainment would be getting gigs that con Total Control wouldn't be able to do. Um, so Eclipse would be getting more gigs, meaning more clients, we'd be making more money, we'd be going out on more gigs next summer. And um, that's great. And so Total Control would be helping Eclipse, and then Eclipse would help Total Control Entertainment by um, going and helping him out with his um, company as well. So he approached me specifically since I'm home and local right now and asked me if I was interested in becoming a DJ assistant. And um, I totally jumped on it. I said, yes, 100%. I would love to go out and do all the things that I just mentioned for him. Um, it will be paid under the table, cash. Um, that's a double thumbs up right there. Um, and this is something I've really, really wanted to do. I did it with Eclipse when Jared, you know, wasn't out at school, but now that he's out at Northeastern University and studying, we really haven't had the chance to do gigs, and the um, the lights, all of our stuff, have really just been collecting dust in the closet, uh, because he's got to focus on his schoolwork, and I don't have the expertise to go and pick up Eclipse, and um, therefore take it on to a level and make money doing gigs. So, I told... Uh, BJ of Total Control that I would absolutely do it. So I'm really excited. I am now hired. Uh, the first gig I'll be doing with him is November 25th. Um, and throughout the winter, I'm going to be working with him, becoming an assistant, helping him out with gigs, and uh, making an extra um, chunk of change. So I'm really excited. I'm really happy that I've been given this opportunity to get back into the DJ industry um, because I have hundreds of dollars of lights that I've purchased, um, and they don't get used enough. I mean, they get here, they get used here in the room, um, but you know, like I bought three of these. These are the Color Strip Minis, um, 
They're DMX. They're awesome. They're about a foot and a half long. Um, they're awesome lights. They're really fun to use. Uh, LED, RGB, red, green, blue, color mixing. Um, so it's really fun. And now I'll be able to get these lights out again, and they'll be able to be used. Um, so I can bring my lighting to total control and add more lighting to his show, and we can bounce things back and forth. Um, but I've always been a big fan of the controlling the lights and setting up and taking down, and that's all I've done with Eclipse Entertainment, which is my brother's business. Um, and now I get to do it more because I really don't have a ton to do on weekends now, and I'm now getting the chance to, you know, almost live a dream again. Um, we did three gigs, or I did three gigs over the summer, but now with Total Control Entertainment, um, I could be going out on a gig almost every weekend, every other weekend, at least once a month. So that's really exciting for me, and you know, I've always had a passion for the music, and since Jared got into um, doing his own DJ business, I've been there since day one, wanting to help out with the, the lighting and stuff, because I've always just had the interest in that. Um, but without rambling too much, I'm going to be working for Total Control Entertainment um, this November. And I'm really excited and I'm really happy that I've been given this opportunity. So that's awesome. I'm really excited. Um, the EP's coming out. I'm going to be working for Total Control. Uh, the hobby. I have a new hobby that some of you would probably consider to be nerdy. Um, and that's fine. And I always thought less of people who played this card game, this trading card game. But I've really gotten into it because it's cheap and I needed something that I wanted to get into. Um, for a new collecting hobby. I've always thought, you know, that's a cheap and affordable hobby is to collect cards. So, I have, you know, indulged myself and gotten into collecting magic cards. Um, why? There's something that is just really exciting about collecting these cards and opening up the package, you know, opening up the seal or whatever, and seeing what new cards you can get. And the one thing that I really like about magic is it's age appropriate for me. It's not like Pokemon or Digimon or whatever all that Dragon Ball Z crap is. Um, but I love the artwork. I love the artwork that is displayed on each of the cards um, every time you open a new pack or, you know, whatever. So you can go online even and, like, look ahead to see. This is the 2012 um, set. I have some from 2011. I've got a bunch from 2012. Um and I bought a couple of the, the bigger packs where, you know, you can take cards out or whatever and um, that give you a bunch of cards. So, basically, you know, I've been able to collect the cards that I think that are cool. And, um, you know, the artwork is just really cool. And the reason I collect them is for the artwork. I don't really want to play the game of Magic, although maybe down the road I will. Um... But they just have like really cool artwork on them, and it's uh, it's really neat to uh, just be able to collect for the artwork, and it's not expensive. Um, each one of these packs with 15 cards is like four dollars, so you know here and there I can treat myself to uh, a new pack of cards to collect, and you know every time you you buy a new pack or whatever, there's obviously going to be doubles. You're going to get doubles, which is kind of disappointing, um, or cards that you you know don't really spark your interest or that you like for the artwork but it's all fun and games because you can open up the pack and uh, you know scroll through like this and check out which cards you like and uh, which cards you don't and it's not an expensive hobby and they're always going to continue to make more magic cards so um, that's another hobby I've got myself into have a great day guys thanks again for tuning in uh, stay tuned because I will be doing more vlogs as I work with Total Control Entertainment and as I get this EP out, I want to do a couple of short vlogs about why I wrote specific songs and um, what's coming up for me in terms of me being a musician and working on my own stuff, as well as what I'll be doing with Eclipsed Entertainment as well as Total Control Entertainment. I will see you next Tuesday.